Almost there. I didn't expect this place to be so well preserved. You know, if we could have worked together to push back the Fragmentum, maybe we wouldn't have had to take off. <sighs> we made it! Hmm. It's been so long, but this place ha Hey! Where are you going? Let's look around the orb. Where are you going? These crates have been sitting here for many years, right? Even if they have materials in them, are you sure they are still usable? <laughs> Do you think undergrounders care about expiration dates? <laughs> Even having any supplies is a miracle in itself. <sighs> no. No. <sighs> Empty. They all empty. Who could have? Careful, enemy behind you. I've only seen this kind of monster before in the restricted zone. <laughs> I don't care how big you are. You dare sneak up on us from behind. This is it for you, pal. Great. Who's next? How many can you block? Strike the park. Burn it up. <laughs> what a headache. on by myself but still fighting alongside you two was pretty fun <sighs> should be all clear now let's poke around the kids at the orphanage were always getting into scraps when we played out here if I remember it right there ought to be some supplies for our cuts and bruises stored in that corner there I just hope the monster didn't get to them it wasn't my imagination Huh? What are you talking about? This building? This playground equipment? I've seen it all before. <laughs> what? Come on! The overground and underground have been sealed off from each other for over ten years. It would have been news if a Silvermane guard had come down here, let alone an overworld princess. <sighs> Wait. Unless... before that... Yes, it's a possibility. That would explain why my memory of it is so blurry. Come on, I need to look around a bit more before I can be sure. What's up here? Some kind of toy? Yep, you pick. Red or blue? Hmm. Blue. <laughs> Look at this. After over ten years, the teeth marks are still here. Teeth marks? <laughs> Alright, well, 
This one time, a big kid was trying to steal this toy from me. I could not wrestle him for it, so I just bit down hard and hung on for dear life. Hmm, how boorish. We've looked everywhere but here. I hope my memory is right. It's... Mm... Ah! Yes! We found it! Great! It's barely damaged. Nat wouldn't have expected her old supplies from years ago to have stayed in such good condition. You should still check the expiration date for things like rubbing alcohol. If it's expired, it won't be effective. Hmm, true. Let me check a few bottles. Huh? What's this? This is... This is... something from when I was a child. When you were a child? Are you sure? No. I remember now. I used to live here before the architects took me away. Be before Madame Cocolia adopted me, I used to live here. I'm an undergrounder. You're an undergrounder? Wait a minute. You're saying that Cocolia, the Supreme Guardian, adopted you? Then. Yes. I'm the successor chosen by the architects. In the future. <sighs> Why? Why didn't I remember this until now? The architects said that the guardian successor is selected from among all people in Bellabog. The selection process can take anywhere from a few years to a few decades. During that time, all children of the appropriate age in both the overworld and the underworld will be tested. In the end, I... I must have been chosen from among the children... The kids at the orphanage are always coming and going. I never thought that there would have been a future supreme guardian among us. I don't think she knows. The selection of the successor is done with utmost thus. I became the daughter of Madame Cocolia. Every day I see Silvermane guards sacrifice their lives in the Fragmentum, but I've never had the resolve to try to change. The underworld has been struggling, but I never tried to help. I didn't even know that it was my own home that had fallen into such a dire state. In the end, I haven't been able to guard anything. How could they have thought that I was worthy to be the success? Hey, are you done? Huh? Well, well, well. So. I what? <laughs> what? You thought I should feel sorry for you after your little speech? You can hide in your palace while you fuss over your overworld problems. And on the front line, it's not even you who's putting their life in danger. But in the underworld, what do we worry about? If we'll have food for our next meal, or survive to the next week? <sighs> even if I am but a small glimmer of light in this world, I must try my best to shine brightly for others. Didn't you say that? You're right. <laughs> You're right. Thank you, Sila. Usually when I feel sorry for myself, I am met with gentle consolation. <laughs> I'm no good at consoling, but I can hit you on the head a few times, no problem. I can tell that you have a big burden to carry. Why do you force yourself to? <sighs> As the successor to the Guardian of Bellabog, I must always be... Yeah, yeah, Lady Branya. <laughs> Miss Future Supreme Guardian comes from the same orphanage as me. 
How about I show you around the orphanage a bit more? Unlike you, my memory is... Okay. I'll indulge in old memories with you for a while. I should let those two be alone for a bit. The only thing left to find is painkillers. I should let those two the only thing left. Mention it, Clara. Warning. Warning. Danger detected. Protect, Clara. Initiating active defense mode. Perkins, don't! Stop! I've seen this person before. She... she's not bad, right? Command received. Danger removed. Deactivating active defense mode. This place is dangerous. You should leave. Oh, I came here for these painkillers too. There are a lot of people hurt at the vagrant camp. I guess the miner... Here you are. I hope the medicine is of help. Mr. Svara, he... He's my family. I met Mr. Svarg when I was real. I'm really sorry about what happened back in the Great Mine. Mr. Svarg doesn't trust any humans besides me. Especially... Mr. Svarg doesn't want to hurt people, but he always follows the calculations of his analysis. Wildfire wants everyone to leave the underground, but Mr. Svarg wants everyone to stay here. According to his calculations, yes, at least according to Mr. Svarag's, he says that his responsibility is preservation. To do that, he must make decisions that best protect humanity. I know that Wildfire wants to talk to Mr. Svarag, but no matter how many times you talk to him, Mr. Svarag won't change his mind. So please trust me. I'll try to persuade Mr. Svarag. Hopefully one day he'll finally listen. Clara, what are you doing here? You're... Miss Sila from Wildfire. Why are you helping the vagrants look for medicine? If they're so great, how could they make a little girl go- N No, it's not like that. I wasn't made to do anything. It's just that the living conditions for the vagrants aren't great. There's not even a clinic in their camp. Also, not all of them are bad people. Everyone just wants to survive. <laughs> Miss Sila, did this medicine belong to Miss Natasha? Then... <sighs> I see. R really? We don't need to act- If I know Nat, she won't mind. Although, this will make it more difficult for us. Great! Thank you, Miss Sila. Are you leaving? This old town is too dangerous. We'll look at- It's fine. I have Perkins for company. And... I have some more things I need to look for- <sighs> Understood. Be careful, though.
Metal plates and bandages, rubbing alcohol. Let's go report to Natasha in Boulder Town. It won't take long to get back. That's our Zila. Nothing if not punctual. <laughs> so, did you find any usable supplies? Oh, let me see. Metal plates, gauze bandages, painkillers, rubbing alcohol. Oh, perfect. That's everything I needed. Huh. It's just... There are less painkillers than I'd expected. Did someone break into the storage room? Clara? Huh. If she was there too, then I understand. She wants to look after the injured vagrants, right? Clara's always been a kind-hearted girl. <laughs> I think you made the right decision. <sighs> Still, it means I'm going to have to draw up a detailed dosage plan. Hey, don't worry. I'll help you. Um, no need. I'll handle the clinic. <laughs> I assume you three have more important things to be getting on with, right? Oleg will be waiting, not to mention your two companions. So you guys aren't that close after all? I thought you were sworn friends. <laughs> You're adorable, Branya. She was obviously joking. I bet old Oleg wants to talk about Svarog. We should get going. Sorry, Nat. We'll have to leave the wounded to you. Oh, no worries. I hope things go smoothly. Ready? Aren't you? We didn't get any rest last night. You're gonna have to. Holder is right here. And that's something to be proud of. <laughs> it's good to have everyone back together. Let me get straight to it. Regarding the Stellaron and your predicament in the overworld, your friends have gone over both with me again. The last time I saw Kakolia, she was an impressive young lady. I never thought that after becoming the Guardian, all I can say is that I sympathize with your situation. Rest easy. Wildfire won't go behind your back on this. 
Your plan sounds a bit like the ravings of a drunken miner, but at least you're offering a road forwards. We Underworlders haven't had a road to anywhere for a long time now, and you can see how things have become. I'm willing to give you guys a shot. Don't worry, Mr. Oleg. We'll make sure you don't regret it. Ravings of a drunken miner is a little harsh. Maybe it is. But I think we need to set our sights on something a bit more realistic. You guys want to know the whereabouts of the Stellaron. Wildfire wants to remove the restrictions on the Underworld. In other words, Svarog is the target of both our efforts. If we can't deal with the boss, we can't deal with anything. Diplomacy before violence. We should try peaceful communication first. Both your approaches have merit. We would always rather avoid losses and settle matters through peaceful means. But if the situation changes, we must be prepared for armed conflict at a moment's notice. Wildfire has tried many times to make contact with Svarag without success. He has no intention of engaging with us. At our current strength, it would be incredibly dangerous to use force. Svarog's robots don't fear sacrifice, and I don't want to risk underworld lives. But things have changed. Your arrival constitutes an external variable for Svarog. I may not have the full picture, but perhaps you guys have an opportunity to sway him. That would be best. <laughs> Our scheme is coming along nicely. But I fear that Svarog just isn't the swaying type. <sighs> You'll understand when you get to his territory. Things never run smoothly down here. And what about you, Miss Silvermane? You're the only one here that isn't compelled to do or die with Svarog. I'd like to hear your plan. Oh, the Underworld is still a part of Bellabog. If Svarag's existence constitutes a threat to the people here, I will of course stand with you. <laughs> Excellent. An enlightened answer, young lady. And spoken like a true successor to the Guardianship. Seeing as we're all on the same side, there's no reason to delay. Let's go. I've arranged for a guide to take you to Svarag. Wildfire's relationship with Svarag has been hostile for a long time now. Accompanying you would only lead to misunderstandings. We'll be nearby, awaiting orders. If things go south, we'll be there in no time. Zila, perhaps you can take our outsider friends the rest of the way. Mm, I'm on it, boss. wasn't expecting. So, the moles are a part of wildfire. Ah, that's right. It's me, Pitch Dark Hook the Great. What do you want? <laughs> Kiddo, I think there's been a misunderstanding. I will be your guide, friends, by order of Chief Oleg. I gotta say I'm a little upset at the thought of you choosing a toddler over your old buddy Sampo. 
All right, all right, don't get started. But I want to ask you something. Everyone in Wildfire knows the location of Svarog's lair. Why do we need you as a guide? Uh, my specialties in the field, perhaps. Wildfire may know where the base is, but have they ever been inside? You've been inside? No, but I felt my way around the outside and picked up more than a few clues. I can help you. You have my word. Hey, what are you trying to say? Name me someone above or below ground that walks the talk like Sampo Koski. My legacy will prove that Sampo Koski was nothing but a willing and devoted servant of... Oh, enough! Jeez, we believe you, okay? Show us the way already! Great! Stay close. Are we there yet? Do you have to ask every other minute, Missy? Two more steps, just two more steps, and you're there. Ha! This is Sparog's lair? I thought it'd be cold and light. Many vagrants are staying here temporarily. Their homes were overrun by monsters. Dangerous for them to make camp right under Svarog's metal nose? No. Svarog may be ruthless, but he never attacks without reason. For those with no home, this is actually a safe place to be. <laughs> if I hadn't moved away when I did, I'd probably be where they are right now. Secret code or something? It's an imaginary password that children like to use. And I don't think it's going to be of much use. Hm. I was just about to get into those before Miss March's colorful attempt. Luckily for us, I've already figured out the mechanism for this gate. They don't just let any Joe Schmo in and out of Boss Farag's territory. I mean, if you want to see the big cheese himself, you need certification. Uh, certification? Correct. Only prospectors with the right certification can get in or out. These prospectors collect mechanical remnants from all over the underground and then bring them to Svarog for him to repair. Honestly, it's a very profitable little venture. If only I'd beat them to it. <laughs> They'd be calling me Sampo Bosky by now. A timeout. Where do we get this certification? Oh, well, that's simple. You see the robots over by the vagrants? They're all Svorog scouts. Every one of them is commanded to maintain order here. Apart from them keeping a watchful eye on these hooligans, another one of their duties is processing. Anyone who wants to become a prospector has to pass a test from these walking stoplights first. Not a clue! <laughs> I never had the urge to go on a Svarog suicide mission before. You guys are the ones that want in. Why not go and ask the robots? It feels like the people here are all under the supervision of robots. This would be unthinkable on the surface. Robots are merely tools in the overworld. Don't take Svarag as an ordinary robot. He's... uh... special. <laughs> 